Hi, I'm Tim and welcome to WatchYouWant.com. Thanks for logging on. Today we're going back to the future with a Rolex classic, or should I say, a blast from the past. Now, in 2008, the Rolex Deep Sea Sea Dweller debuted, much to the dismay of fans of the classic 40mm Sea Dweller references. While the Deep Sea was and remains the technology standard bearer for the Rolex Dive Watch line, many bemoaned the loss of the more discreet 40mm case as made famous by the Comex divers of the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. And in 2014, Rolex answered the call of their dive watch faithful with this, the new double six. That's right, this is the Rolex Sea Dweller 116600. This watch, which is rated to 4,000 feet or 1,220 meters, takes the aesthetic of the old 16600, the 40 millimeter Sea Dweller, and it transposes it into a case that is modern, features all the new toys, the refinements that have come into play in the Rolex line since the demise of the last 40, and it creates a watch that is, by many accounts, almost perfect. Now let's go into some of the advantages of this one over its predecessor and over the deep sea. So first and foremost, you can see that this watch includes all of the latest Rolex toys. Debuted at Basel 2014, this watch takes what's known as the super case, the broad-shouldered case that first debuted on the GMT of 2005, the GMT Master II, and it takes that maxi dial that we've seen on recent Submariners with the larger indexes, the larger white gold hands, the larger white gold applied triangles, rectangles, and circle indexes, and it combines it with the Cerachrom bezel, that is the ceramic bezel that's nearly scratch resistant. If you're familiar with the scratch resistance of a sapphire crystal, and most modern luxury watch collectors are, you get that same resilience on a Cerachrom ceramic bezel. It has a beautiful luster to it, and it's produced with Rolex's proprietary process that actually impregnates all of these wells, these indexes and numerals, with platinum. So the entirety is not just an upscale in look, it's upscale in fact. Now, what the, four, the 40 millimeter does is it takes most of the resilience of the deep sea and it packages it into a more manageable size. I'm going to show you on my wrist where this watch gains its advantage over the 44 millimeter deep sea. Now you can see right here the 40 wears beautifully on a six and a third inch wrist so my wrist is about average maybe a little bit below average in size but the watch sits flush it sits flat it's very comfortable and you'll note that with the absence of the Cyclops eye magnifier over the date it's even a little bit cleaner in look than the six digit reference Submariner and that's a key advantage because a lot of people look at this watch not just as an alternative to the deep sea but as a sports watch alternative to the sub maybe even despite its more ambitious depth rating and generally sturdier build, it's possibly even a more refined look than the Submariner because of the symmetry and the clean aesthetic that follows from eliminating the Cyclops eye bubble over the date. Now with a 40 millimeter case, even if you swell the lugs, even if you increase the shoulders of the crown guard, you've only got so much real estate on the dial to work with. And including that Cyclops eye is convenient for functionality, but the rationale being at depth, you don't really need to know what day it is. There are other concerns, and that holds up in a practical sense. It also pays dividends in, a, in an aesthetic sense. So somehow, this hardcore dive watch actually winds up as a better black tie and dinner companion than the more modest Submariner. Other toys included in the latest Rolexes include some of the best bracelets and clasps in the world. Now this is the latest Rolex milled oyster clasp. Those who remember the old five-digit Sea Dweller 40 are in for a revelation when they experience this. Milled from a solid, it feels like a bank vault, and it includes some refinements that the old-school Sea Dweller can only dream of. First of all, there's Glide Lock. This ability to adjust the bracelet size up to 20 millimeters in two millimeter increments without tools. But there's also this flip lock, ah, flip lock dive extension that you can use to wear the watch either over a wetsuit or a winter coat. In fact, if you're in New Hampshire, if you're in the Midwest, if you're getting snowed in, or if you're in Switzerland, where I hear some parts of the country got 24 inches of snow over the weekend, you can really expand this out with a ton of extra size, tool-free, to fit over even the thickest winter clothes, so that tough Sea Dweller heritage pays dividends on the, uh, the turf as well as the surf, so to speak. Now the watch is a COSC certified chronometer and the new Rolex innovations, the stuff that's come about since the last Sea Dweller, they continue inside the case where the Rolex Parachrom Blue Hairspring, anti-magnetic, 
shock resistant, more thermally stable, helps this watch, as with all Rolex automatics, to earn a COSC chronometer rating. Very tough, it has a power reserve of 50 hours, which is above the industry average of 42, so Rolex gives you a little bit more in there as well. Now you can't see it here because we're not in the dark, but this includes Rolex's latest blue chromolite loom. I sometimes get questions about the loom on these Rolexes. This one glows blue at nighttime. In fact, if you charge it up in the day, walking from broad daylight into an indoor environment, you can even see it in the light. It's pretty brilliant stuff. And of course, blue is the last color in the spectrum to be lost to sight with the depth. So Rolex chose that color strategically, not just aesthetically. This watch, which is available from watchyouwant.com, this is the new 116600 Sea Dweller 40. Includes all Rolex boxes, papers, accessories, everything including the factory hang tag and polishing cloth is included with this watch. And having been purchased in December of 2014, this Rolex Sea Dweller 40 includes warranty through the end of 2016. So for all practical purposes, the majority of the Rolex factory warranty. This watch, which is available immediately, is one of the hottest references of the past year. Waiting lists continue to stretch to infinity, and WatchYouWant.com is proud to be able to offer this example with everything you would get at the Rolex factory dealer except for the weight. So if you're into the Sea Dweller, if you love the history of the Comex industrial commercial divers, the story of Rolex developing that first helium release valve for the Comex personnel in 1967 so they wouldn't blow out their crystals when they ascended from depth, if you love the story of Rolex dive watches, period, from the first oysters of the 1930s to the submariners of the 50s to the sea dwellers of the 60s to the present. This is the latest installment in that legacy and one of the absolute hottest Rolex watches to come along in years. So if you're into all that, I have no doubt, this Rolex Sea Dweller 40 is the watch you want. Check it out on our website in high resolution images with full boxes, papers, Rolex accessories, and like I said, the vast majority of the Rolex factory warranty. Rolex dudes, this is the watch you want.